Hey guys, welcome back. So this is day 14, web applications. So this is all about securing applications or hacking applications in the web. And this is the Try Hack Me advert of Cyber 2022. So this is all fun and games and learning, right? It's all about learning. And I'm gonna be honest, I've learned a few things along the way and uh, I'm proud of it. So thank you Try Hack Me for all this uh, cool stuff that you're doing. So what we're going to be doing here is the learning objectives is web applications, like it says here, the, the OWASP top 10, the Open Web Application Security Project, and IDOR, which is Insecure Direct Object References Vulnerability. So I'm guessing this has some kind of vulnerabilities in a web application that we have to tinker with. So like I always say, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, let's have some fun. Please like, subscribe, share, and you guys should know the deal by now. All right. So web applications, it's a piece of software that, you know, it's used via the browser. Everyone uses a web application today. So, you know, popular ones are webmail, online shopping. Obviously, you guys probably go to Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Etsy, ProtonMail, Gmail, Startmail. These are all different kinds of web uh, webmail. Online banking, I'm not going to tell you my online banking, but and you have office suites, right? You have Office 365, Zoho Office, Google, Google Drive, and etc. And then we have databases, right? Where does the data have to be stored? So it has to be stored in a database, usernames, passwords, etc. And you have maybe PII information, personal identifiable information that you have out there on the internet that you may want to have that concealed. Right? You don't want people getting to it, but sometimes if there's an application that's insecure, that might be risky. right? And like I said in the, in the last video, uh, I was sick for a few days, but I still kept up with doing this, but I lost my voice, so I couldn't really make videos, um, and I'm back at it today. All right, so then you have uh, access controls. You know, you want to make sure whoever's accessing the, the data of the users, of the clients, of the whomever, they have access to it, right? You you don't want Joe Blow accessing the database when Joe Blow is shouldn't have access to it, right? So then you have web application vulnerabilities. You can check out you know, maybe check out the OWASP top ten. From my understanding, they changed. You know, obviously 2017 they different than 2021. Back then injection was number one. Now you know broken access controls number one. So on, so on and so forth. So you can guys can read through this. This is super important. It's something I'm still, you know, tinkering with. I'm not a master at this. I want to be 100% honest. Um, but yeah, so obviously we have, you know, let's say a user is 132. It's directed to a URL, Santa gift dot shop slash account user underscore ID equals 132. This is pretty much the value from 132, and this is going to have the ID. So say, for example, if you put like 133, it may be Pat. 134, it may be Santa. 134, it might be Michael Myers. Who knows, right? So, and, and like I said, I already did these boxes or I already did these rooms. So, you know, I'm just gonna walk through doing them together with you folks. Okay, so as we go down, we have only a few questions here. So let's go ahead and log in. So we can go ahead and browse out. So let's go ahead and just open up a browser in our my, my attack box. So I want to go ahead and let's see if I can copy this bad boy and just paste it in there. Copy, let's throw that in here. Oh, I always do that. Doomp. And let's see if I can paste it now in here. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Yep, there you go. Okay, let's clear this out and bring this in. All right, so we have Miskitty and dev test as a user and password. So let's go ahead and give that a go. And then dev test. Okay, go and save. All right, so we are here with Elf Miskitty. 
So he's the, C the CISO. His office is 110, his mobile number. If you want to give him a shout, you can give him a call right there. So if you pay attention here to the URL, as you've seen up here, we can probably manipulate this and change this. See how it says like account user ID equals 132. So we see users 101.html. So this is just a web page that's sitting here. We could probably make some changes to this. So let's go give that a go, right? So let's say for an example, we want to go to, I don't know, 102. Now we have elf Nick blue, but the question down here before we continue, what is the office number of elf, uh, McRed, right? Pivot McRed. So now we need to find this and it's 134 because like I said, I've, I've done this already. So if we go increments of one, say for example, 103, and then we have forensic McBlue, that's not, that's not the, the guy we want to check out. Let's see four, admin McBlue, sorry. admin, you're not the fellow I want to see. Oh, here we go. So we could see he's the pen tester. His office is 134. And the mobile number is 07700, 900, so on and so forth. So you can give him a call if you want. And he's the pen tester. So he's the man of the hour. So we just take 134, we stick it in here and correct the mundo. There we go. All right. So now, not only the profile, uh, the next question, not not only profile pages, but also stored images of vulnerable. Start with the URL. So pretty much this profile picture, it has a hidden flag. So if we just right click on here and let's say for an example, view image. All right. So we can see this image is JPEG. I mean, a ping 105.ping. So say, if, say for example, we change this to maybe 104. Okay, we can just go down. So we know, let's go ahead and let's go, for example, 101. We got this little guy. So now, what if we go to 100? Let's go to 100. Boom. This is the flag. So what, pretty much what you had to do is just manipulate and change some of the, the values until you got it, right? Um, it wasn't you know, it, it wasn't too difficult. And if you get used to doing these kind of machines or these boxes or these rooms, you'll get the hang of it. And this is pretty much concludes this video. You just take a uh, THM, close the door. We just threw that in here, correct. It was correct. And then we just, if you wanna learn more about this room, you can go out here and learn about <clears throat> IDAR or IDOR, however you want to pronounce that. And it stands for Insecure Direct Object Reference. So yeah, so that concludes day number 14. Here we go. So that's it for today. Until the next video, I'll be doing the next video in about 10 minutes once this one is done and we should be good to go. Thank you so much, folks, and have an awesome day. And until next time, have a good holiday and be safe. Thank you.